What's up guys, Elok back again, and we're talking about the EA press conference. Oh, uh, sure you already knew that from the video title, but whatever. Uh, they started off with, at least I remember them starting off with, Star Wars Battlefront, and I thought it was actually a really cool to, like, video with the developers that they showed up. Uh, they showed that they went into, like, based the designs for everything off of actual props used in the movie and then actually went out to scout the locations of the original movie to make sure that they got everything as detailed as they could and honestly they make a fantastic representation in this game uh, I've been waiting for a return of Star Wars Battlefront cause I don't know, it's just one of those games that I feel like everyone loved even, well Everyone that's a Star Wars fan, I guess. Maybe even some people outside of it. But, yeah, I really dug that. And it's about time that I came back. Then Mass Effect 4 happened. Well, at least a small trailer of kind of stuff they're working on. They didn't really show a lot. Um, nothing to really get hyped over, but I'm sure if you're a Mass Effect fan, then you're just you're pretty hyped to hear a new game's coming, but they also announced that they have a new IP in the works, and honestly, I'm kind of interested in to what that could be. But other than that, really not much to say for this one. Sims 4, really, what's there to say? Um, It's another Sims game. It seems like it has more intense con uh, customization features, and... You get to pick their personality traits as well this time, I'm not sure. I can't even remember the last time I played Sims 3, so uh, I'm not even sure if that was in there. But yeah, it's definitely been a while. Uh, I gotta say, this probably had the like the biggest reaction of the EA, the EA conference, at least. Um, people went nuts for this. People like their Sims. Uh, next, we get into the sports stuff. Uh, not really my area of expertise, so expect this uh, this not really informative at all series of videos to get even less informative here. But I'm just gonna say Bruce Lee's fucking radical, and it's pretty radical that he's in this UFC game. I mean, uh, not really sure if it's morally right to put him in there, but if if I played this game, he definitely be the guy I cling to as a character, cause, come on, who doesn't want to be Bruce Lee? Look at me, look at me, you can't, but trust me, I want it, I'm making a face that says I would want to play as Bruce Lee. Um, oh god, uh, NHL's up next, they showed a CG trailer, really gave, gave me nothing to work on with this, with the limits that I already have on myself, but, uh, I mean, it looks good if it means anything. I mean, these are all like, these are all games being shown at E3. Um, they kind of have to look good at this point. I mean, they've got they've got big budgets. They've got big budgets, and it better fucking look good if it's gonna be a pre-rendered cutscene, you know? So, sure. I mean, I don't know what what to really even say about this, but a little a little bit of a dive away from uh, from the sports games, I guess, because uh, they followed that up with the unnamed Criterion game, which I find really fucking weird that they didn't have a name for it, but um, we saw really, really early footage of what they're, they're aiming for, and the game that they're making kind of seems like they're gonna have you be able to drive everything except cars in this because they want to get away from that I guess for at least a game but I don't know it warrants some looking into just not not really right now because they don't really have anything done but oh well they're working on it and I'm sure it'll be dope for the people interested and then uh, then we get back into it with PGA the uh, stuff just golf what's there to say the, the grass looks good and the fantasy courses look nuts which 
it's really surprising that you can put blowing up battleships and stuff, and it's still not that exciting to look at. But the Madden trailer, I actually do have something to say about because uh, it really seems like their their main focus was on was on the defense for for this game, and that's what was going to be updated and. It really does seem like they've improved it, and that defense is more. You can get more into it deeply, and I don't know. That's something some Madden fans can get hyped about, I think. But I don't know. That's that's kind of the end of. Uh, we we'll take a little break until we get back to FIFA later, but you know, it's screwed. I'll just talk about it now. It's kind of the same stuff I had to say about NHL, and well, it says that says that they have emotions based on what happens in the game and considering the CA we're talking about I'm not sure if that's gonna pan out exactly as they claim it will so uh, I guess that's another wait and see moment but I don't know on Dongate um jeez I'm I'm garbage at this at these kind of games it, it really really isn't something I'm familiar with and not something I really paid attention to, honestly, but uh, I think they said that all the all the characters are supposed to have a story behind them, and if so, that's cool. But definitely, definitely not for me. Uh, then they had the Mirror's Edge trailer, which uh, it's well, I don't know what this is because I've heard that it's a sequel, I've heard that it's a remake, I've heard that it's a prequel. Um. I'm really confused, but either way, there seems to be advancements in in more more of a focus towards like the parkour kind of stuff, and really that's kind of what it's all about. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, they'll add enough new flavor to keep it interesting, and even if they don't, it definitely has like another game of being rehashed it because we really don't have anything like that, and. I don't know, we need some Mirror's Edge. They, I think they ended on Battlefield Hardline. Yeah, yeah, they definitely did. Uh, gotta be honest, I was really skeptical at first at the concept of this, like, cops and robbers type style, but <sighs> that match, it, it, it kind of sold me. It kind of sold me. I think, I think it will make for some really intense matches. Uh, shit was blowing up from left and right. It was, it was all out. It was really all out, and I think, I think this will do, I think this will do people some good. This game looks really, really fun. So I don't know if that's, that's something to look forward to. It's, I find it weird. I always get, like, have hype things to say about shooters, but I'm never one to play them because I'm pretty bad at them. But oh well, oh well, it looks good and. It'll give people something to look forward to. A much shorter one on this, but oh well, it's kind of to be expected. Uh, join me next time on the Ubisoft conference, I guess. If yeah, whatever. See you next time.